Tonight, we bring you a CBS 11 investigation. For months, we've heard about car crashes involving Toyotas, allegedly caused by unintended acceleration. Toyotas blame sticky accelerator pedals and floor mats and trapping accelerator pedals. Still a lot of questions, though, as to whether Toyota's electronics might be to blame in all of this. Tonight, you're about to see some new research into what may be causing the problem. CBS 11 investigator Jack Fink joining us now with what he's found. Jack? Well, Doug, the man behind the new research is speaking on camera for the first time exclusively to CBS 11 News. He recently submitted his findings to federal investigators. They are looking into whether Toyota's electronic throttle control system is to blame for unintended acceleration. It's a problem one North Texas woman claims caused her violent crash. That was my dream car. Shannon Perdon's dream car is a mangled mess. My husband gave me that for my 15th wedding anniversary. This is the first time she's seeing it up close since the accident that nearly killed her. You know, this is where I was sitting and how much trauma happened to the car that my body took. Perdon says one year ago this week, her 2007 Lexus IS250 sped out of control and crashed into this tree just off Stonebridge Drive near Coronado and McKinney. She says her car experienced unintended acceleration and wouldn't stop. My first thought is what's going on? And then as it just sped, um, then that's when you get panic. And it was sort of like um, if someone had turned on the cruise control and on the resume mode. Perdon has filed this lawsuit against Toyota, which makes the Lexus. She claims the car's electronic throttle control system caused the unintended acceleration. In court papers, Toyota denies her claims. The automaker tells us it remains confident its electronic throttle control system is not to blame. The space agency NASA and the National Academy of Sciences are now investigating whether vehicle electronics in Toyotas and Lexuses cause unintended acceleration. Yes, it is a concern. Todd Hubing is an electrical engineering professor at Clemson University in South Carolina. He is now the second researcher this year to find problems with Toyota's electronic throttle controls. Just this month, he presented his findings to the National Academy of Sciences. It is possible for the electronics to um, create conditions that result in unintended acceleration. In his first TV interview, Hubing tells CBS 11 he and his team interfered with the electronic systems on two Toyota models. He says they tricked the engine control modules into thinking the accelerator pedal was fully depressed. He says the two cars didn't detect a problem or trouble code when they should have. If a trouble code doesn't come up, we, we think that's very likely a, a software issue. He says a trouble code would have put the vehicle in a fail-safe or a limp mode, which would have limited engine power and acceleration. But because there wasn't a trouble code, the vehicles accelerated instead. Well, you know, this is really important. Because Auto safety consultant Sean Kane has researched the issue for plaintiff's attorneys. He says Hubing's work is significant because he was able to trigger the electronics problem in the Toyotas more easily than a prior researcher. And that's a new finding. That's the first time we've heard uh, that type of development in the Toyota case. Hubing says he also found that electronics failures leave behind no evidence. It's very difficult to say afterwards that it was an electronics failure <laughs> because there are so many ways that we can interfere with the electronics and um, there's just no sign no sign of a problem after after the incident occurs. Perdon's husband believes this wasn't the first time his wife's Lexus experienced unintended acceleration. He says seven months before his wife's crash, he had the very same problem when he was at the wheel. I was going down the road and, you know, the car kind of felt like it was going on its own. I, I had no control over the car. So he says he then brought the car to their dealership but he says they didn't find a problem. After breaking her ribs and right ankle and being in the ICU for seven days, Perdon only recently recovered. She says it's been very challenging for her and her family. It's been very hard on the girls. Um, you know, they didn't know for days if I was going to live or not. Perdon now has a used car. She says while her Lexus was special. Knowing what happened, I, I can't buy another one. I, I just wouldn't feel safe. Now, Professor Hubing says he believes the electronics problems are rare, but he hopes investigators can duplicate the problem so that, that, that he found so that they can determine whether this affects just Toyota's vehicles or those from other automakers as well. 
Toyota tells us unintended acceleration is an industry-wide problem and welcomes this review. Doug, Karen? So what does Professor Hubing believe could prevent this unintended acceleration? Well, pr the professor and others believe a brake override system would actually prevent unintended acceleration. That system reduces engine power when the accelerator and brake pedals are pressed at the same time. Now, Toyota says it's going to be installing these on all of its 2011 models. Other manufacturers already use this technology, and now the government is considering requiring this on all vehicles. Mm, all right. All right. Story that continues to be talked about a lot. Jack, yeah. thanks so much for the update tonight.